Kyle here, back for our third installment. Hope you figured out your roof lines and peaks as I have here. House is ready now for a foundation, some windows, doors, and even lights. All right, we're going to start off by first off making sure we're on the correct layer again, which is our house layer, so we can turn that off and on. And anything again we add to our house will be in the same layer. Uh, okay, let's start by selecting all, which is going to select all of our houses and peaks and everything. You can do this by going up to your ribbon tab and selecting all, or you can also hit Control A on your keyboard to select everything. Going to use our left toolbar to group selection. As you can see, everything has now been selected. What we're going to want to do to add our foundation is elevate the house. So we're going to elevate this two feet. You can elevate to any height you wish. Um, and now, once the house is elevated like so, we're going to select the house again and go to our left toolbar and ungroup our selection now. Because we're going to want to add a foundation to each individual building here. So now the next thing to do is on your ribbon tab, go to building, patio, and create just any generic patio. Just connect the dots, right click, you can zoom tool so we can see that this is just your regular patio. Now we're going to select, let's start with this left house uh, over here in this building. Now we're going to select it, right click, copy, now select your patio, right click, and paste shape and move. As you can see, if we press the Z key, zoom to, my patio fit underneath that building that I have selected. Now because we raised this building two feet, you're going to want to raise your foundation also to the height of two feet under your patio details not your elevation but your height so now it is flush with your building here now when your patio is still highlighted your facing material which is what's shown here you're going to want to change that so it looks like we've created a foundation so you can click on the icon here we can scroll down let's click a how about a I don't know, a here, this some sort of rock face. So let's go with a rocker mountain face here. So it looks like some sort of uh, you know, cement of some sort. So add to scene. And now you can see that we have uh, a foundation here. Now what you're gonna want to do is do this for the remaining building um, that are attached here. So we're gonna pan over to our right here. You can select the pad you've already created. You can control C, control V, copy and paste. Move this out here again. Select the next foundation here, which is this big main building. Right click, copy. Select patio, right click, paste shape and move. And now you can see we have a foundation under there as well. We can finish this off by adding yet one more foundation you can click on your patio control copy paste bring that out here one more time select this front porch area copy then select your patio right click paste shape and move and all right now we have another patio now again I'm just trying to demonstrate how you add a patio um, our final house may not have this patio attached to it but in any case you're going to need one at some point so you can finish off. Remember, you have to do each one individual like I have done here. And all right, now I think we are ready to add some windows in here. OK, well, I've adjusted my foundation to the way I wanted it. I ended up matching my building facing material with my patio facing material shown here. Now we can go ahead and add some windows. Now you could uh, make a new layer and add a window layer, but I recommend just keeping them all on your house layer to keep everything on one. So we're going to first on our ribbon tab under building, use our window tool. And now as you can see, my red cursor here doesn't work in the sky. It only works when you are on a facade shown here on a house. So let's start by adding a window over here. Now just place the window where you want and left click and you can see it got selected and you can use the Z key, zoom to, and you can see which window you've selected. 
Now remember that it always keeps, it always selects the previous window that you used before, which is a nice uh, tool. So if you want to use the same window all around, you can just keep going right back to window and it'll keep using the same tool uh, window. Now, however, if you want to change the window, uh, you can just make sure you select your window. Under window details, you can click the window icon and it'll bring you to many different windows you can choose from uh, shown here. And what you can do is highlight any one you want and add to scene and it'll change your window for you like this. However, I wanted to use my previous window. So to go back, remember you can control Z and it'll go back to the previous window there. Okay, now another quick tip is to copy and paste your window. Now you can only copy and paste to the existing building that the window is on, meaning that I can't copy and paste this window to here over to here but I can copy and paste my windows on if equal facade. So select a window, control C, control V, copy and paste. And you can see I've duplicated a window and I can move that over to my right uh, by selecting it and uh, moving my mouse. And you can also do that one more time if you'd like. Create a third window here and there you go, you have three quick windows. Now, if you wanted to add, say, a larger window up top here on the top of your peak here, you can just have no window selected as shown here. Go back up to your window tool. And you can see how it selected the same window, which is okay because that's just, that's a really quick way of recreating the same window. However, we want a different window. So, go right up to your window details icon. And let's scroll through some other windows that might fit that facade better, okay? So... Scroll down here. How about this nice arc window right here? Okay, so selected that, add to scene, and now look at now we have another window here. We can Z zoom to. We can see that it's starting to look quite nice. Now I'm going to deselect and I'm going to uh, pan down my camera using the minus key on my keyboard here. Get a better view of what we're doing here. Okay, now I don't want to use this. Um, you know this brown wood grain color I want my window panes to all be white so I'm going to control and select all of my windows here I'm going into my window details material options and you can see that my frame is this wood color so let's click on that icon here and let's scroll down and pick a new color uh, I know I want to use white so I'm going to scroll down here all right, okay, let's use a vinyl white select and add to scene and it changes my windows. It may not have changed this one because it might be from a different catalog of some sort. So you can select it individually, go back up to materials options, select and we can scroll down again. Let's get to white vinyl, add to scene and you know, okay, so we're good now. You can also add uh, shutters. So let's go to window. Again, it's going to reselect the same window I use, but we don't want that. So we're going to go back to our Windows Details tab here. I'm going to select on Windows. And I'm going to scroll down to Shutters here, shown. Now let's pick a shutter. Let's go with uh, let's go with this first option here, Shaker. Add to Scene. And now, as you can see, it won't allow me to check on the window, but on my facade. So we can put that shutter, say, right next to my window. Let's Z zoom in here. And you can use your arrow keys to get that to adjust the proper way. Let's get it right up in there. And you can control C, control V, copy and paste and move that over. And now you have some shutters on there, okay? All right, great. So now you can add windows to each individual building. Like I said before, you have to add the window to each individual window because you can't copy and paste a window from building to building. So let's go next over here to our main building and let's zoom to that real quick and get a nice picture of that and we can go back up to our window tool and again it's going to select the window that we've already used before which is which is nice quick and easy. So we can select that, place it, uh, zoom to, let's control C, and control V, copy and paste over here and there you go you have two more windows and once again I can control select material options. I'm going to change my frame one more time to a white vinyl down the bottom here. Add to scene and, and there you go. It's simple as that. And once these are both selected like this, here's a little trick. You can control copy and paste one more time. Now you can do two windows at a time and move them over to where you think you want them and, and there you go. 
All right, now doors. Doors are the same. Uh, you can go up to your door tab here again, and you can uh, place. So we're going to have to choose a door, but you can place it wherever you'd like. Um, let's go with uh, let's go with uh, but a nice single arch top here, and zoom to. And once again, you can you can see that that's how it's been placed. Fairly simple. And uh, as well as garage doors, let's go over to our garage here. I just zoomed to that, and uh, let's go back up to uh, doors. And so again, it's going to place my uh, my entrance door, but we can just place it. Go back up to my door details icon, and let's uh, scroll down to garage. As you can see, loads all my garages. Let's uh, let's just install a classic door here, just to show you what it's like, and. And there you go, you know, here's your garage door for your garage. And of course, in a later tutorial, we'll add in our driveway and start placing some hardscape. But it's, uh, again, it's all fairly simple here. All right, now there's also lights, which is my favorite part. These night shots are really cool. So let's, uh, let's, let's zoom into this front entrance here, okay? Let's see if we can maybe, um, you know, we got, we got some good light here. And let's add a, let's go back into our ribbon tab building light. Let's just pick uh, the first light we see. Here's a nice uh, traditional light here. Add to scene. And again, you're going to place it only on a facade. As you can see here, let's pull right up to the entrance. You can zoom to and see how that looks underneath there. And now, really cool, you can keep that selected. Go back to your edit ribbon and time of day. Let's make this a night shot here and you can see how that really illuminates uh, your porch area and your uh, your pavers here. Really nice effect. Uh, also, while your light is selected, you can adjust the brightness here. You can see how that's getting brighter and darker, which is really neat. Um, all right, so uh, let's go back to noon here. Get some nice light on the house. You can click outside your light to deselect that. And uh... okay, so as you can see, I have finished adding my windows and shutters and making all of my frames white, as I showed you before. So you can see my house is starting to move along here nicely. I've added my garage doors, uh, some lights around the property. It all looks really nice. So we're going to end today once again on a screenshot so we can watch our progress here. So sometimes for screenshots, you'd like to turn off your grid uh, just so you don't get that grid look when you, you know, on your screenshot there. And I'm going to pan over to the right and maybe we can have, well, let's, let's, let's keep it, let's keep it nice time of day, some light on the house here. Everybody can see our nice windows we've chosen. Let's go back up to our main tab and create screenshot. Upload to virtual property online, of course. Make sure that tab has been clicked. And next, uh, screenshot. Let's let's call this one maybe uh, progress, and we'll say windows. Okay, you can add description again if you like. Create screenshot, and it's uploading. Okay, there's a preview. Let's go up to our envisionscape.com now on my properties tab here. Let's go to my online property. All right, as you can see, I have two screenshots now, so it worked. I have a progress windows here, and uh, there it is. So you can share that with whoever you'd like. We have one here and another one here. All right, well, uh, join us next time, and we will start making our way over to some hardscapes. Okay, thanks guys.